Well, when they expanded the testing here at the state lab and dropped some of the requirements for who is getting tested, they told us we're going to see some more cases and it appears that's what's happening now. The latest two cases are two men who remain hospitalized tonight. The two new cases of coronavirus involve people currently hospitalized. A man in his 60s with underlying health problems is in critical condition at Valley Medical Center in Renton. The scene outside the hospital was quiet on Sunday, and the hospital says the man is in an airborne infection isolation room, and everyone on his care team is trained in the CDC's recommended infection prevention and control practices. The second presumed positive case, a man in his 60s hospitalized at Seattle's Virginia Mason Medical Center. That man also has underlying health problems and his status is critical. They say the man had not traveled, so this is believed to be another case where the virus was contracted in the community. These are in addition to the death at Evergreen Health in Kirkland, where a man in his 50s passed away. The first coronavirus death in the country and three other cases confirmed in King County, along with a teen in Snohomish County. While public health officials say it is not the time to panic, it is enough for Governor Jay Inslee to declare a state of emergency, giving state agencies the necessary resources to prepare and respond to the outbreak. And keep in mind those numbers you just heard do not include the very first coronavirus case in the United States. That man who was hospitalized in Everett and has recovered and gone home. And also when you hear that phrase state of emergency, it can kind of sound scary, but that's just simply something the governor did to release more resources to make things move a little bit quicker so local and state health officials can get everything they need to fight this as good as they can. We're live tonight in Shoreline. Amy Marino, King 5 News.